This is KUTV News, Channel 2, Salt Lake City, Utah. Three arson fires in less than 24 hours at a Salt Lake City nursing home. A suspect is in custody. Officers and families gather to honor deputies killed in the line of duty. And a new twist to an old story. Is it possible the CIA was involved in the death of President John F. Kennedy? We'll show you the pictures and let you decide. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Sarah Harlow. And I'm Bob Evans. This is KUTV News at noon. John F. Kennedy assassination, UFOs, the New World Order, and the secret government. Those are just some of the areas today's guest says he has incredible information about. In the early 1970s, Bill Cooper was a naval security intelligence officer. He says he, has, he was privy to secret documents that gave almost inconceivable explanations to some of the things I just mentioned. Bill Cooper, thanks for being with us today. Let's Sorry talk to about the JFK assassination. CIA plot? Well, from the top secret documents that I read while I was in naval intelligence, it concerned the Central Intelligence Agency, the Secret Service, Division 5 of the FBI, and the Office of Naval Intelligence, and that's why I was able to view these documents. Now, why would the CIA and, and the security community want to kill the president? From what I understand and from what I read, Bob, they viewed uh, President Kennedy as a security threat, and I'm not sure exactly what that means. Uh, but the documentation clearly said that the assassin was the driver in the car in which he was riding in Dallas on that day, and it was plainly visible in a film withheld from the public. Now, you brought that film with you. Let's take a look at that if we can. Uh, here's the film. Go ahead and narrate this for us, will you? Well, it took me 16 years to find this film uh, because it has really been withheld. And what you're seeing here is the motorcade on Elm Street passing in front of the book depository building. Kennedy has been shot in the throat, and Jacqueline is pulling him toward her, trying to comfort him, and she's in shock. At this time, you see the driver turn around with a pistol in his left hand, firing over his right shoulder, and shoots the president directly in the head. Here's a repeat of it, yeah. The weapon, watch the driver, his name is William Greer. He was, in fact, a Secret Service agent. The weapon is a, an electrically operated, gas-powered assassination pistol built, built especially for the Central Intelligence Agency. You, you don't see any puff of smoke any, uh, from that's correct, because what you think is a pistol there in the right-hand corner, lower right-hand corner. That's correct. It is Why a, is that? Well, it's an, it's an air-operated pistol. It's pneumatic. And it actually fired an exploding pellet, which injected shellfish toxin into the president's brain, so that if the actual explosion of the pellet itself did not kill him, the toxin would. Now, did you read all of this yes. in, in the documents? Yes, and that's why uh, his brain was switched for another brain in transit between Parkland uh, Hospital in Dallas and Bethesda Naval Hospital in Washington, D.C. Now, what about Oswald? Oswald was a patsy. We have a photograph of him actually standing in front of the book depository building in the doorway watching the motorcade as it goes yeah. by. That is Lee Harvey Oswald there. You can look at his clothing and you can see in a following picture, I don't know if they're going to show it here, but we also have photographs of we him when he was under arrest. Yeah, we don't have that, but, it, but I have seen that photograph and they do look quite similar. The Abs clothing is very absolutely. similar. Absolutely. We've also done uh, body measurement proportion comparison analysis between the two photographs and there's no doubt it's Lee Harvey Oswald. This is, this is incredible. Why isn't it that uh, the CIA has silenced you? Why haven't they silenced you? Well, that's a good question. I don't think they want a martyr on their hands. Martyrs create political movements. And uh, what I did is literally th within a 24-hour period, I prepared a $27,000 mailing. That's what it cost me personally to mail this information all over the world and the United States. And so they were, they're faced with a, with a dilemma. Do they allow me to speak and allow people to doubt what I'm saying? Or do they do something overt toward me to silence me and thus verify that everything that I have said is true? Now, wh what about Jackie Kennedy? She was in the car with the president right there, and, and we saw her in, later in that film trying to get out of the car. Yeah. Why hasn't she said something? Well, it's obvious. Uh, you have to understand that the Secret Service was a participant in the plot to assassinate the, the president. She saw William Greer shoot her husband. She tried to get out of the car because she had every reason to believe that she might be left. She saw Connolly hit. She saw her husband hit. She tried to exit. Her own personal bodyguard, Clint Hill, tried to put her back in the car and succeeded. But you have to understand that her children for the rest of their life are guarded by the Secret Service. She is also under protection of the Secret Service. A better thing might be, say, captive. 
you might say. You have a seminar coming up on Saturday at Saturday. Taylorsville High School Auditorium. Uh, all the tickets are available at all Smith Ticks locations. But and you'll talk about this, and you'll talk about a bunch of other things. Many other well. things. That's Saturday, cool. 11 a.m. All right, Bill Cooper. Thanks for being with us. We appreciate it. Thank you, Bob. When we come back, we will continue our look at multiple personality disorder when the news at noon continues.